Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. Thanks for watching my video. Okay, for this video, I will explain the chapter 2, which is Measuring National Income and Output. Okay, so before we proceed further, let's look at the learning outcomes for this chapter. The first one is to identify the concepts on uh, in national income. The second one is to distinguish among the three approaches of measuring national income and the third one is to discuss the use of national income. So here, I will divide this chapter into three videos. Okay, first of all, for this video, I will explain on the concept in national income. Before we Proceed further, let's look at the components of macroeconomics. There are four components. You have to understand the components of macroeconomics in order to know the circular flow and to calculate the, measure, the, the national income. Okay, the first one is household. What does it mean by household? Household own all the factors of production, consists of land, labor, capital, and entrepreneur. Household also provide the service of factors of production to the firm and government and also receive payment in the form of rent, wages, interest and profit. As we look at here, if you provide land, you will get the rent. If you provide labor, you will get the wages or salaries. If you provide capital, you will get interest and as a, an entrepreneur, you will get the profit. So household, when the household get the income in form of the uh, rent, wages, interest and profit. They will spend their income by buying goods and services produced by firms and pay their taxes to government and save a small portion of their income. That is household. We all, we all are the household. The second component is firm. What does it mean by firm? Firm is a private organizations that hire the factors of productions from household and then produces and sells goods and services. They will sell their goods and services to household and government and also earn a revenue from the sales. Firms also will pay wages, interest and dividends to household for the service of factors of production and also pay taxes to the government, also known as corporate tax or business tax. Okay, so that is um, for the firm. The third component is a government. Government will collect taxes from household and firm and government revenue will be spent on development and also operational purposes such as welfare activities, provisions of public utility, defense, and education, among others. Government also buy factors of production from household for public consumption. Okay, that is a government. And the, la and the last component is the rest of the world. It refers to the foreign sector which is involved with the import and export activities. Okay, import and export of goods and services which cause the inflows and outflows of income to our country. For example, Malaysians will spend money to buy imported goods from foreign countries. And also, people in foreign countries will purchase goods produced in Malaysia. That is the components of the macroeconomics. Okay, now we move to the next step, which is the circular flow of uh, income. There are two sector economy circular flow, three sector economy of circular flow, and four sector economy of circular flow. For so for the first one, let's look at the two sector economy of circular flow. When we uh, when we have the two sector, it means that have two components, which is household and firm. That this is the simple uh, circular flow. Okay, only involve two components, which is household and firm. Here, household. As I told before, household will own the lab, the factors of production and will provide all the factors of production to the firm. So household will supply labor, capital, land and entrepreneur, so known as factors of production to the firm. And in return, they will get the uh, rewards in terms of wages, interest, rents and profit. Okay. When firm get the all the factors of production, they will process all the factors of production and produce goods and services. So household will purchase goods and services to the firm. So the, the flow will be from the firm to the household. And in return, household have to make a payment for goods and services. Here is the cash flow from the household to the firm. Okay, if you look at here, uh, the, the orange 
uh, flow means the flow of commodity and goods and the red one is the cash flow either from household to the firm or from the firm to the household okay that is for two sector economy okay for the three sector economy we add one more component which is government okay here um household will pay taxes to the government firm also will pay taxes to the government and government will make a payment for goods and services to the firm okay so you look here the payment for the goods and services and government also will pay wages for those who uh, are employed in the government and pay the transfer payment such as scholarship job allowance and the last Current and second level is for sector economy. For this uh, second level, it complete with all four components. We have household, we have firm, um, government, and the rest of the world. So for for the rest of the world, it will involve the import and export. This one is also import. Okay, import and export. Import. It will uh, the flow uh, would be from the rest of the world to the government to the firm and to the household and for the export from the firm government and household towards the rest of the world okay so that's all for the uh, for this video we will proceed uh, next part in the next video okay bye bye